The Prince and the Frog. Once upon a time, in a land far away, there lived a brother and a sister. They were known as Prince Oscar and Princess Caroline. Like many brothers and sisters, they had their differences. Oscar liked to read quietly and mostly alone. Caroline liked to read loudly and usually to someone else. Oscar liked planted flowers and finding bugs on the ground. Caroline liked climbing trees and finding whatever she could. Oscar would often paint beautiful pictures of the forest. And Caroline would often paint the forest beautifully. They cared for each other as brothers and sisters do. And although Caroline was quite happy with the life she led, Oscar hoped that one day he might just meet someone whom he could share his life with. The fairy tales Oscar had read made him very much believe that everyone should fall in love. One day, Oscar and Caroline were relaxing by a large pond close to their home. Oscar rested on the soft grass, while Caroline swam in the cool water. They were both having a wonderful time, when all of a sudden... Hey! <laughs> Hold up! Cut! What? Pop, what are you doing? You know we're not in this story. Oh yeah. Oops. Sorry everyone, and major sorry to you too, your highnesses. It appears Pop just can't resist being in my new storybook, The Prince and the Frog. Guess not. So for an uninterrupted version of this story, you might be better off buying the book. You can get it from popandolly.com, jkp.com, Amazon, or from your local bookshop. The Prince and the Frog is my latest children's LGBT plus family fairy tale. Don't miss out on an adventure with brother and sister, Prince Oscar and Princess Caroline, as they discover a lonely frog who's been cursed by an evil spell. This story teaches children about same-sex relationships and attraction, exploring what it means to be in a healthy, loving relationship. It encourages children to listen to others, be kind, and embrace diversity and equality. A lesson plan is also included for Key Stage 1 and Key Stage 2. We'll delight countless children at bedtime and perhaps even inspire tomorrow's human rights champions. This is a crucial book for kids to read. I wish resources like this had existed when I was growing up. A positive message that will save and change the lives of young people everywhere. A sweet story that shows love can happen in many different ways. I wish a book like this had existed when I was a kid. Teaching diversity and acceptance from a young formative age is extremely important and this story hits the nail on the head. An excellent resource for teaching kids about LGBT plus people and the diversity that exists under the rainbow. Yeah, I really hope you get to enjoy a balloon and catboy free version. Yeah. And we will see you next time in a video that we are meant to be in. But while you're here, make sure you like and subscribe. Bye. Bye. And if you would like to help us continue creating LGBT plus educational content for children, then you can support us via our Patreon page. Just go to patreon.com forward slash poppanolly.